Hello guys and welcome to a brand new Need for Speed episode and today we're trying to find the derelict Bel Air. Been trying to do this for a while but I've been distracted. I think we can pretty much all agree the Bel Air off-road is probably the best option. So that's what I want to go with. Uh, based off your comments as well. And the chassis is just over there. And on the map it's Silver Rock, that's the city. And we are in the bottom right hand corner just here. That's where the chassis is. So let's activate the Bel Air. Yes, another derelict. Oh, look at that. Ooh, when it's done up, so nice. That's off-road. The off-road does look really, really good. I think that's probably the best I option. This. I think. It's from a Chevy Bel Air. Yeah, it's a Chevy Bel Air. Ooh, yeah. Let's find the next pilot. But also I want to do a, a, a vote. A vote on the Beetle. Because I'm not sure what to do with the Beetle. Uh, if I was going to pick, I'd probably pick the race option with the Beetle maybe. Or drag. Could be quite fun. Oh, uh, so we'll do is a vote. Top right hand corner. The eye icon. Vote. I'm going to... So the vote's going to work like this. No comments will be included. So if you, if you leave like a comment saying, Beetle, be a race car. Um, that will not be included. Um, just the vote poll itself. And I'll look at the poll before I actually record the video. And that'll be when I actually, actually take the vote. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. So yeah, leave a vote. Uh, I'm not going to include comments. Literally just the poll. So that's just 100% clear. Right, so the part should be around here. I probably need to jump to it, as always. Oh, we have a, we have a, a beeping sound. So this is where I saw it's supposed to be. Actually, I think that might count as a ramp. It's not overly obvious, but that should work. Let's find out. Does this car jump? Oh, yeah! yeah! Done it! Handbrake. Yeah, new part found, guys. For my little Chevy Bel Air. There it is. Is that the engine or something? <laughs> and that is exactly... In that location, the top right-hand corner, and there it is. Pretty much spot on with the, uh, the the waypoint there. So the next part is actually down here, but there's like nothing near it. Also, I just found this part of the map. There's like nothing here. There's like one drag event, and that is it. It's just empty. I guess I've not been there, maybe. I don't know. All right, let's fast travel to my garage. This is a real little journey, so I'll let you guys... We'll skip it. It's fine. Oh, there's a little chip over here. We are close. Oh, there it is. I can see it. And I missed the chip. Damn it. Too distracted by the part. Oh, well. This is now tagged on my map. And that is a body part. Very small body part, but it all counts. So, so far... That's exactly where we found it, by the way. Uh, right there. Pretty easy to find once you've seen it. Um, yeah, so we got... Body part A, engine and drivetrain, and now we're going for the accessory or wheel tires. So this is where the next part's located, around around here-ish. Just transported to this garage. Now we're gonna drive over and find this part. Oh man, that's a really long journey. Aha, I think I've just seen a jump. This is exactly where we are. Uh, just off this road, there's a dirt track. We go up this dirt track. I just saw this little blue highlight. Which must be a jump. Yes. That's a very small jump. But we got the part. Yeah. Apparently after we get all the derelicts, by the way, we can buy the derelicts. So we can buy any derelict again. We can buy the beetle. Make a crazy drag car or a drift car. I think that's how it works. We have one more part to get. And then the Bel Air is done. And the next one is down here. We can fast travel to there. Nice and close. So let's start looking out for that jump. We're quite close already, actually. Where is there? Ah, oh, is that jump there? Is that rock? Yeah, there it is. I can see it. See that smoke? Jump. Bang. Last part is about to be found. And after that, we have one more derelict to find, and that's it. I'm hoping they may add some more in the future. Maybe a little bit of updates and stuff. Maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe. Let's jump it. Woo! Boom! I went straight past it. Damn it! I jumped too well. 
That was gonna happen at some point. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. I was pressing RB like a crazy man, but it did not count. <laughs> Trying to go a little bit slower this time. There we go. Done it. There we go. Last part. Accessories. Yeah. Last piece should be enough to rebuild the 55 Bel Air. Woo! 55 Bel Air is about to be completed. Back to the garage. Over here. And the parts should be waiting for us. Ready to put this car together and make it our own. It will need a lot of work. But think of it. Half full. Why do they always talk talk about the day for? It's weird. It's like, oh it's now it's now the morning. Derelict parts? We should check them out. We should. Let's get this bel air done. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of work to make it into a super build, but I'm willing to put the work in. We do need a few more parts though. Desperately. As all my cars load in. There is guys, the Bel Air 1955. Yeah, it's got it's gotta be an off-road, surely. Yeah. It's gotta be. Done. I got an achievement, cover stars. I got all the cover stars apparently. Yeah. A true fifties legend. Just makes you want to take a date to the drive in for milkshakes, doesn't it? I guess it does. Woo! That is a good looking car. Right, what we should do is it starts yeah, it starts as much as it can be already. Do quite a lot of those rooms. Can you make the windows darker? Oh nah, let's not do that. I wanna see inside, it looks that good. Hoods? Whoa. So quite a few options. Noosh. Looks like looks like looks, that looks like teeth. Your teeth are gonna eat you. Go for that. It's gonna eat people. Front bumper. Oh, there's so many options for this car. So nice. So many bumpers. I wanna go for like a sort of chromey looking one. I'm not quite sure about that grew actually. I might change it. Yeah, let's go for that one. Let's keep it. Let's keep it not stock as such, but keep it a little bit original. Uh, I just prefer the standard lights, to be honest. It's hard to work it out until you got that, like, an actual colour I want to go with. I'm not quite sure yet. Hmm. I think that one. Yeah, I do like the classic look. Wing millers. Quite like those little ones. Quite nice. Or just nice shiny Chevy ones. <laughs> See the stuff I'm going with now. Rear fenders. I mean, it does look quite... The carbon does look quite off-roady, which I quite like. Hmm, I don't know. Should I, should I go for a bit more off-road look? It's an off-road car. Yeah, go on then. It still looks like a Chevy, but just, yeah. You know what I mean. A spoiler. Oh, damn. It's more of a drag spoiler. I mean, that... Yeah. <laughs> People are going to hate that, but I, I quite like it. Trunk lid. A shiny trunk lid. Let's go for... Let's go for a Chevy trunk lid. Yeah. Oh, no. Missed him bite then. Rear bumper. So many options for this car. So nice. Look at that. That is pure just chrome. Lots and lots of chrome. Diffuser. <laughs> Not quite sure about diffuser, especially on an off-road car. A few exhausts. Quite that one. Two big exhausts. Yeah. Big manly exhausts. Oh, roof, of course. What roof do we go with? So that's got like a little bit of like a sort of sun shield. <laughs> I mean, it's very sunny in the desert while we're off road. What colour should we do it? Oh, is that the um the one they have at the beginning of the game? I do quite like that. There's some really nice designs actually. Got like a sort of almost like a rust mobile as well. Down here. Gone for the rust look. It does look quite cool. Does look very cool. Army look. I quite like this one. This is the, the one we saw at the start of the game, I believe. It's a really nice design. Done it. Yeah, I don't like that spoiler. No, it does not suit the car at all. Let's go back into the garage. I think perhaps like a little, a very tiny little spoiler, maybe. It just doesn't look, doesn't look right. Doesn't look right at all. I'm glad we changed it. We're about to change it anyway. Change it right now. That is not a good look. I want like a little lip, little lip. That works a bit better. Yeah, let's go for that one. Tiny little lip. 
on it. That works. Yeah, this is pure stock and it's a little bit slow, as you can imagine. It does have Nostil. It's not too bad. He's an off-road car as well. Uh, let's go to tune-up shop, do a few little upgrades here and there. Uh, what I could do first of all, look at the top speed. It's not even got a bar. That is scary. So it probably won't make for a very good race car or drag, drag car, I don't know. Uh, right. Buy gearbox. Spend some monies. We now got a bar on top speed, which is nice. The top speed didn't exist at first. That's 107 miles an hour. I mean, this could take a, a long while to get this to, uh, to 300, isn't it? ECU spin. That's pretty nice. Brakes, NOS, and speed. And an outlaw part as well. That's a big increase on a lot of stats. Now we need turbo. Give us something good, please. Spin it up. We can do so you can go back and do the events, um, the off-road events. You can grind. I do, that, I do that quite often outside of videos. Just to get some parts, some new cards. Level three. Again, a very big increase. We've also got next tech times three. Uh, let's just do a little roll for an exhaust. Gonna run out of parts soon. Yay! Level four exhaust, brakes, and NOS. That's now 149 in terms of the car stats. And we have a top speed of 120 miles an hour. Damn, son. That's quick. Let's go for one more spin. That's the head. And we're in this episode here. I will do a lot of work on this car outside of recording. And I will turn it into a super build, I promise. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Level 5. Woo! Hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the Bel Air. I think it's looking pretty nice. Just need a little bit of work in terms of performance. And then we can race it off-road. Thank you guys for watching. And bye-bye.